I do not want to see niggas scoring X amount of points and taking the dumbass picture with the fucking paper and how many points they're scored. Cut it. No, I don't care. First of all, we don't know if this nigga even scored 100. Right? Kobe didn't do it when he scored 81. So, But now everybody scores 51, 70, 71, 73, and they're there holding this dumbass picture with the amount of points. Just cut that out. That's to me. Sorry. This is nefty. That is cheesy and corny to me. And it pisses me off. That I've never was... seen the team that you're about to play with. I've never seen them play. That was the one game that I missed, and I didn't see them play. Yeah, like, yeah. The best team to me was the... Um... Can't find them all? Yeah. Yeah, they just don't make errors. Right. That was they're, the best they're team They're, like, really fundamentally sound. They don't make errors. But the park wasn't, like... I didn't feel like we couldn't beat them. We yeah. just played bad. We couldn't hit the ball. Yo... Play for oh my, don't, can't get me started on the first playoff game. Cause was or the second playoff game? Are you talking about when we played early in the morning? Yeah, yeah bro. Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> we put put up four in the head. <laughs> if we would have had our team, yeah. If if we would have started with like ten, we started with nine. Yeah. Oh boy, didn't even show up. Captain show up. All right, you know what? One of, or not if the best player didn't show up. Listen, man, this is just how I'm feeling, all right? All right, so. Yeah! Or not, our third or fourth heavy batter showed up in the third inning. You already know. You already know. You already know. Y'all heard the song. <laughs> Y'all heard the song. I'm back. Who's back? I'm back. Yeah. Better than ever. What's up, gang? What up? What's 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 good? What's good in the hood? As long as you could. 1.5. Welcome back. Yeah. Welcome back to another episode. Thank you for tuning in to another air pursuit of the PEH podcast. I'm here with my two co-hosts. Yeah. Which one? Which one? 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 One at first, huh? Which one? Which pause. One? Pause. I'm not uh, unpause. Everything. Which one of y'all won which it one first? Which one of y'all won it first? To my right, yeah, the master of disaster, what? the captain, huh? The captain. The mastermind. Double two. To the genius of the X's and O's. Jeez. You already know it's Coach EJ. Let's get a round of applause, Coach EJ. Coach EJ. Coach EJ. Coach EJ. Yeah. What's good, what's good, what's good. <laughs> so, to my left. Nah, let's keep it simple. E- Eli. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, to my left, y'all already know. Bronze sexual. <laughs> Upcoming birthday boy. Bronze sexual is crazy. <laughs> yes, sir. Bro, I've been so much better, bro. <laughs> nah, no. Actually... That actually serves right. <laughs> what? It serves yeah, right. There's no Yo, way. Nah. Yo, we let you slide a lot, bro. Slides. With the with the brawn, with the brawn. You know what I'm saying? What, what noise did you just? <laughs> we let you slide a lot, so it sounded like this. Right. So I think yeah. I think that was warranted. No, a little bit, right? No, nah? not even a little bit. No, not, not Maybe even. Maybe like. All right, Five listen. The roulette bandit. All right. All right, here we go. <laughs> roulette go. bandit. There you go. Eli, round of applause for Eli. Round of applause for Eli. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And y'all already know your favorite dad, the boy behind the shades, Mister Celica whipping himself. Celica whipping. I'm I'm nefty. Y'all already know what it is. How are we feeling, gang? Good. Good, man. Exhorted. Yeah. Excited, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I uh, apologize to the viewers. We are, I guess, a week off. I mean, every po- podcast needs a week off, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, wasn't feeling very well last week. So we're back, though. We're back better than ever. Niggas is healthy, I guess. Yeah. Um, Make sure you guys hit the like button if you enjoy. Subscribe if you haven't. You are a certified a booty if you haven't subscribed just yet. And we appreciate the love that we are getting. Um, Real spill. no trivia. We're going to get right to it. Oh, We're going to get okay. right to it. Right to it. And the matchup is set. 
in Sin City. Sin City. My favorite city. The f- <laughs> uh, where the population increases its density. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. Shout out to Royce. Um, the <laughs> Chiefs will be playing against the 49ers. The Chiefs are coming off a win against yeah. the Baltimore Ravens. Yeah. The 49ers coming off a comeback win against Damn. the Detroit Lions. Now, obviously, we all know you guys are here for Super Bowl predictions. If you're not, stay tuned. Um, <laughs> do we want to tackle what happened in the championship games? Yeah, no, let's get into it. Let's get into it. All right. Chiefs Ravens, how, how do we feel? How, how, how did this look to you guys? Did we watch the game? Um, is Tom Brady still the greatest of all time? Yeah. Yeah, that's too early. I like to tackle a freaking Baltimore Ravens, man. Mm, I see way, to, way to fumble the bag, bro. Mm. They, they, they tackle they, and fumbling. Yo, put these guys. <laughs> <laughs> and they, I mean, they went away from what their bread and butter, and that's and that's running the ball. Hold up, hold up. My, my fault. Let me get these lips ready for these haters. Oh, my God. <laughs> for these haters. Yeah, I, honestly, I think um, the Ravens got punked. Personally, they you know like usually they're the teams that try they try to punk the other team, and they got punked into playing a game that wasn't their game. Yeah, no, I agree because they usually two hundred plus of rushing. And that, and and I think that was one of the things that frustrated me about the game, because like, I felt like they didn't even try to run the ball. There is there is a play, Lamar the the play that Lamar forced the interception, he had yards of field he would have probably scored not even lying and he didn't even run now we can say what it is people are saying he choked people are saying it's the offensive coordinator's fault i just think it comes down to y'all got punked and y'all got y'all they made you change the way y'all wanted to play i mean it's tough because they didn't even attempt to they didn't even attempt to run no so, like, they went completely opposite. The, the percentage was 84% of dropbacks. Most they've done all season, which yeah. is ridiculous. For Lamar Jackson to be dropping back 84% of the time. That's ridiculous. For what? To prove that he's an actual quarterback. I'm telling you. I, like that's, They went away from their whole that, game. I, I feel like that was what it was. And this, I'm not trying to take away from what the Chiefs did because the Chiefs defense played amazing. But, like, yo, I honestly just feel like they didn't even try. Yeah, I'm with you on that. And, then, I mean, the Chiefs, you know, we talk about Mahomes and Kelsey, and mm-hmm. they don't make mistakes in the playoffs. No. You know? And they capitalize on those. Mm-hmm. And what they did was like, hey, I've been dropping balls. My boy Kelsey made some catches where I'm like, boy. I think he went 11 for 11. 100 plus mm-hmm. yards. And a like, TD. And a tutty against Hunter who doesn't give up TDs. Mm-hmm. He was right at him from the start. Mm -hmm. Um, They look good. And I'm not even going to say they look great. Because they don't look great. They're just a team that is defensively sound. They have the best quarterback in football. Mm -hmm. And right now, he's not making any mistakes. Nope. And he's just capitalizing on teams that do. Yep. Like the Dolphins, like the Bills, and like Baltimore. They've all made mistakes. And... They made sure, hey, we're going to capitalize on these missed field goals, fumbles, right. interceptions, and we're not going to make any. You know, the last time Mahomes had an a, a interception was against Burrow in overtime. Yeah. His only one. Shout out to Burrow. That is insane. So, yeah, he he's good at what he does. He's checking down when he has to, and he's taking the shots when he needs to. He's playing the game, bro. So, shout out to him. Word. Um, Shout out my nigga Gucci. As for the Lions, Patrick. Hey, yo, my boy. We're living and dying. We living and dying, my boy. It's okay. Uh, I, that's not even why they lost the game. No, I, I know. I know. I'm just saying that there's a lot of coaching calls that want to go ahead on fourth down and not secure a 17 no, point lead. No, no. I, I told you what it was. Jared Goff outside is shaky. Just say it. Shaky. Just say it. But 
If I, if you can see that and I can see that, yo, kick that sh- Kick it. Yo, kick he ain't it. have faith in his kicker. He did what he did what Green Bay should have did when old boy missed the field nah, goal. Nah, it's different. He he was there right there, bro. They're at the thirty. No, like it was like it. a forty. It no, was a forty-five they had plus. Two chances to to make it a big lead. Two chances. They went twice. How do you, they, bro? He was going for it all, it's all game. Right. It's all right. I'm just saying, the 49ers don't even look that good either. They just another another team that goes ahead, capitalizes on mistakes. Because Green Bay should have beat them. Yeah. And the Lions should have beat them. Yeah. But guess what they do when when the, when, it, when it needs to... Ha, ha, ha. Hey, yo, Brock Purdy. Let's do this. Goes down the field. Tutty. Goes down the field. Tutty. So, like, they're capitalizing on these... On, on a Green Bay team that's young. Detroit, who hasn't been there. And, and win. Now, yeah. is he going to go ahead and do that against the Chiefs? No, I don't think so. I think the Chiefs won because they don't make mistakes. I think Brock Purdy ha- has shown that when he starts off hot, he's hot the whole game. But when he starts off slow, yeah, good luck. Because by the time you get going, the Chiefs already did what they had to do and the game might be over. Yeah. That's my take. I, 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 I want my boy Brock Purdy to win, but I'm going to be honest. I'm leaning towards the Chiefs. 60 40 right now. I mean, that's still not bad odds, though. I'm a, only because they got they they got the boys. They got Kittle. They got Debo. Yeah, they have they a got, lot to worry they, about. They have a lot. And and if Brock it's it's hard to say. We're gonna see what really Brock Purdy's about. We're gonna For see. Sure. For sure. Cause he's got these weapons and like on the opposite side, the Bills don't got these type of weapons. Uh Tyreek. One man show. Waddle, where was he? I didn't see him in that game. Baltimore Ravens, Zay Flowers was the only one. Where was Bateman? I didn't see him. Odell came in late in the fourth quarter. Where was he all th- first three quarters? Yeah, I said they start they started throwing the ball to him in the fourth quarter late. Yeah. When the game was done. So one man show. Now you got three weapons to worry about four weapons to worry about. You know, so it's really gonna be on, hey, can you can you cover McCaffrey? Can you cover Debo? Can you cover IU? Can you cover Kittle? Right. Like, if he get going, it might be scary for them boys. It might be. But it's going to depend on him. And can you depend on him? We're going to see. I mean, y'all know who I'm rolling with. Oh, no, that's a fact. That's yeah. what I'm saying. 60-40. He in, he in the chip. He going to get there and win it. Yeah. Um. Uh. I think, I think it's going to be a, a very, very close game. Um, and I think <clears throat> that they, the style, the styles of play for the both of them are so totally different, but it, it's going to make for like a very good, um, contrast and when they play like San Fran is going to be really, I think they're going to, their, their advantages is going to be that they have Christian McCaffrey and they'll be able to run the ball. Um, but at the same time, like. The Chiefs defense is really good. Like this is the best this is the best defense that Patrick Mahomes has ever had. And you're giving the best quarterback in the league right now a a top two, top 3 defense. So like it's really it's really scary. How much is going to be tough? It's I mean It's going to be tough. I'm going 34-28 Kansas City. I, yeah, I, I'm going to be honest. I think it's going to be a, a little high. It's going to be a high scoring game. Only because that second gear, secondary of the 49ers is chips. Yeah, but so are the wide receivers for the Kansas City Chiefs. No, I I, I hear you. <laughs> I hear you. But we might <laughs> see another game where freaking Rice has another 100 points, yeah, 100 yeah, yards. Yeah, yeah, true, true. That's your and boy. Kelsey, go ahead. It's just, it just, it just how it rolls. But then on the same opposite side, I'm like, I really don't. Tr- Zay Flowers, one man show, had. Plus hundred yards, and one he man lost show. Him a game. And that's being young and dumb. Never been there. That's on him. Don't do that. That, that, that yo. And that and fumble I'm glad, on I'm, him. I'm glad, you brought, I'm glad you brought it up too, yo. The Ravens. See, and this is why I can't stand Ravens or Ravens fans. The way the Ravens were playing, bro, was like they never been in a big game a day in their life. 
just doing stupid, stupid things. I mean, they had like five, uh, what was it? Rough in the passer, face masks, taunting, just like, yo, play the game. Yeah, doing all that extra sh- Unnecessary. Unnecessary. You did it to yourself. It's like, hey, Cheddar Bob, boom, boom, <laughs> boom, boom. We don't want to win. Nah. We don't want to win. Every time. Every time. That's annoying. Every time. All right, what so. You, what you got to say, my brother? Um, I don't. You guys you guys hit on a lot of points, so I'm not going to add anything to it. You guys pretty much touch everything I would like to touch. So, <clears throat> we're, we're, the unanimous decision, the Chiefs are winning the Super Bowl. You agree, too? Yeah. Hey, man, you can't go against yeah. greatness. Just can't go against greatness. Can't do that. Kansas City Chiefs, they got him. They got Andy Reid, number one defense. Their offense is is top 15. So, regardless of what people have been saying about it, it's top 15. You know? it's I think it's like rank 13 or whatever in the league. Mm-hmm. Rank 13 offense with a number one defense, that sounds like a Super Bowl championship team to me. You know? Um, that sound like Belichick. That, that, that sound like Tom Brady. That sound like Kelsey. That's what I'm saying. So it's. Oh, this, I mean Gronk. <laughs> hey, I can't. I can't. You can't. Not just me. We can't be. Pa- well, you guys aren't. But those that are Pages fan, you can't be Pages fan and then hate the Chiefs. Thank you. Thank you, Ray. Thank you. Can't do it. Sorry. And vice versa. I need. I need. I need everybody to really listen to what he just said. Patriots fans. It, 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 we witness greatness. I'm not going to sit here and be a hypocrite and be like, oh, I hate the Chiefs. For what? Well, why, why do I hate the Chiefs? Or why don't I, why don't I think they're not going to win? Come on, bro. Like, the fuck? A lot, a lot of people are like, oh, man, just, yeah, man, you know, sit. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Yo, everybody got their time of rain, man. Yeah, yeah. It's like. For real. It's, it's just enjoy it and appreciate it. It's it, yeah, it's just getting a little gross now. Would it be cool if the 49ers wins? Yeah, of course. Yeah, but, I think so too. <laughs> but you know, I'm not Atlanta gonna, probably I'm said the same thing, or Atlanta fans probably said the same thing. Yeah. Rams fans said probably yeah, right, said the same right, thing. Right, right. Carolina fans probably said the same thing. Right. We sat there and said, "Yeah, check us out real quick." Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so yo, they had twelve, and twelve was always like, "Yo, hold my cerveza." <laughs> <laughs> and that's what I'm saying. So it's like, um, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna have a little little tug of my heart on the 49ers, bro. Oh, and and another thing. Um, like I said, you, if you're a Patriots fan, you can't hate. Hey, I, it's time, bro. Let's get that back to back. It's been 20 years. Yeah. I mean, it's cool that we held, we held, we're, we're holding it. I guess the last team to do it. It'd be nice yeah. to see another team do it. Fuck mm-hmm. it. Get it done. Get it done. Get it done. Get it. Yeah, at this point in my the stage of my, I used to hate. I used to, what? If this was twenty year old, fuck the Chiefs. <laughs> I'm too old for that, bro. Like, I'm, I love dominance. I love greatness. Yeah, Chiefs. Chiefs in, in six. Um, <laughs> did you guys hear <laughs> anything else on the Super Bowl? No, no, no. Do you Did you guys hear about? Uh, what's his name? CMC potentially, or like he can't buy the box. Yeah, I saw that. That was fake news. Oh, it was fake. Yeah. So regardless, though, two point five million for a suite is kind of nah. But they said that the tickets is going to be crazy. It's Vegas. What you expect? No, it is. It is Vegas. It is Super Bowl. It's the hottest ticket in town. I get that. Yo, Trust me, I get it. Two point five. Yeah. Two four. Two point five million. Twenty. Uh, it's a twenty person suite. That means per person is one hundred and twenty five thousand. Yeah, bro. But that's what I'm saying. When when I knew when I found out that the Super Bowl was going to be at Allegiant in Vegas, yo, you are not getting in there unless you are a star. Yo, and, Brock Purdy wouldn't be able to get in. No, there. no, he what wouldn't be able to get in there. And on yo. top of that, I, th- I think I think EJ just hit it on the nail. We are we are looking at the new LA. Oh, one thousand. Yeah. People need to recognize that Vegas is the new LA. Yeah, now nah, that's it. And it's just going to be a hot commodity. It, it's going to be even crazier. Go ahead and take a trip. Um, I got I feel, a coupon, my brother. I feel a what for my birthday? A coupon? Coupon. They hit me up on flights. Like, hey, yo, my brother, your birthday. Here you go. 
To where? <laughs> to, to anywhere. Oh, just the <laughs> you could just use the voucher for my boy gonna be in the Bahamas next week. I'm like, yo, where you at, bro? We're at the house ready to pod. <laughs> We're at the house ready to pod. This guy's over here. Yo, you guys heard that they're gonna <laughs> this is so gross. They're gonna be opening the su- the Super Bowl with Sweet Sweet Victory by SpongeBob. Oh, I love that. No, I love way. that. <laughs> I Damn. I'm not making this up. SpongeBob SquarePants Sweet Sweet Victory is going to be opening up the Super Bowl. Yo, they're trying to hit all areas. All I'm saying is at some point, all right. Hopefully, maybe when the players are running out, if I don't hear big as a what. <laughs> There's an issue. Yeah, that's a problem. They made yo this song. I think this song was made for this. And if I don't hear big as the Super Bowl, true, I'm turning the TV off. Yeah, I'm turning the TV off. Catch like me a minute. Catch me watching Bluey with my son. You heard? Bluey. Bluey. Number number uh, number two show uh, most streamed in 2023. By the way, Damn. useless facts of the day. Um, I feel like I have something else about all of this, but. I could really dig into the whole Chiefs and Ravens and 49ers. But shout out to the Lions, though. I do want to I do want to shout them out. You guys did what you guys had to do for the city of Detroit, but they're going to be back. They're going to be fine. Oh, actually, no. Let me ask you. Pause. Did Detroit blow their load? Is this the last time we'll see Detroit in a championship game? Are they going to con- go back to their struggling ways and we'll never see them go this far again? Or are we seeing the beginning of something new? No, nah, it's the, it's a new new day in Detroit. I I believe in Dan Campbell. J- just look at what he's done already. He he took a team that went 3-13 and 1. They gradually got better, got better. And you could just tell by the the morals he places for his team. That's that's he he's set in the culture right in Detroit. And if the culture is right and you bring in the right people, and he even said in his press conference, it doesn't even matter about talent to him too much. If you're not going to come in here and abide by what we what we rock with, what our team motto is, we don't need you. We'll find somebody that's going to come in and work their tail off and figure it out so that we can be a, a, a good team. The only, the only thing that sucks is <clears throat> pack is back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, do you? He, I mean, he said in his press press conference, like he thinks you know that was their only chance. Yeah, their best chance. Who said this? Dan Campbell. Dan Campbell. He's like, I think this was we lost like our best chance to win it. Um, I mean, do you believe that statement? Oh my God. All right. So in the NBA, <laughs> I'm not doing this. I'm really not. In the NBA, they have uh, they implemented. Yeah, I'm, I'm really not doing this. I'm sorry. <laughs> NBA, they implemented. I think it was back before the season started, right? They implemented this whole 65-game rule. Do you guys are aware of this rule? Yeah. You got to play at least 65 games, which is 80% 80%. of the games. um, For you to be eligible for anything that you could potentially be eligible. For example, Embiid is four games away from being eligible of, of, of being in considerations for MVP. Halliburton is four games away of being in considerations for all... Uh, what is it? All NBA, which if he doesn't make it, will cost them forty one million dollars. Cheese and rice. Okay. Damn. And the list goes on. I think. I think. Uh, I think I saw Lillard. There's a bunch of other names. There's, a, but the two big ones, pause, are obviously Embiid and Halliburton. Um, how do we feel about this rule? Because it's, it's been circulating, circulating. Look, look at me. It's been circle, whatever. A lot of people have been talking about. <laughs> can't speak. A lot of people have been talking about it. It's been a lot of issues. There's a particular NBA player that even went crazy, and he kind of got some backlash. And we'll get to that. I'm sure you guys know, as you guys can see. Mm-hmm. But first, I want to get to how do you guys feel about this rule? You want to go first, E? Um, I think it's a double edged sword. Because, I mean. We never played in the NBA. I never played in the NBA. Um, but I did play basketball. I played a lot of ball. And I do understand. And you coach. And I coach. And I understand why <clears throat> the players and coaches do the whole load management thing in order to preserve players for the playoffs or whatever. However, the NBA did realize, hey, we're – 
we're we're skimping out our fans and their money because they're paying all their hard earned money to come and watch the best of the best play, and then they show up and they find out oh, um, Kawhi's not playing because of load management or Paul George or LeBron's not playing because of load management or whatever, and that to me that does that that's where it gets messed up, bro, because if you have all these hard working people that are paying their hard earned money to come and watch you play. You need to be out there. You know what I'm saying? You're getting paid all this money. Um, and I think the NBA saw that like the players found loopholes in order to play, perform at a high level, get re- get rewarded for it, aka Joel Embiid, get an MVP, and you get paid you get paid a bon you get bonuses for that. You know what I'm saying? For all the, for all NBA, for awards, all that. So these players are playing I don't know. I'm just throwing a number out there. Playing 60 games out of 82 and winning MVP, getting paid this money, you know, but it's kind of like the players are jipping them a little bit. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like that's the, the corporate way of them looking at it. But I do think to the per- to the player I think you were talking about, which was LeBron, LeBron made a good point. You know, like the media does – does this thing where they're going to bash the player for sitting and they're not going to allow them to to reap the benefits of playing well while um, load managing themselves. But as soon as they get hurt or something bad happens, it's like crickets. Nobody has said anything. Nobody has said anything about Joel Embiid since he's got hurt. And it's lateral meniscus. Lateral meniscus for a 7-foot, 200-plus Man, grown man. Now, he might be fine. They might find a way. They might shoot him up with a PRP shot. Be like, yo, just sit for two weeks, and then you'll you'll be fine. But it could have been way worse. It could have been way worse, right? And then at that point, as the athlete, it becomes like, am I doing this for me because I want to play? Or am I doing it because my job is like, Yo, if you don't play 65 games, you can't get MVP. You ain't getting no bonuses. You know what I'm saying? So, like, that that to me is where it gets, like, a little fishy. But if I had to choose a side, I'm with the 65 games, bro. This is what you get paid to do. If you're not, if your body cannot handle 82, 82 games... That's something wrong with you. You're not doing the right things that you need to do to make sure that your body can withstand that. And that's just my take. LeBron James has been playing majority of the games most of his career. Why is that? Spent the most money on his body. He's ready. He's conditioned for that. The reason why he's not playing now, obviously my man's 39 years old. He shouldn't have to play every freaking game. But that's just my... Well, I, think, two cents. I do think he's excluded, actually. Because I think, I think we spoke about this. There's like five names that are excluded. Kawhi is another one, too, because he has that deg- degrading knee, knee injury yeah, yeah, or yeah. whatever. There's and like five players that are excluded from this rule. And he's actually played a lot more games this year than he's had in the past couple of years. So I'm not, I'm not, yeah. I don't even want to put it out there for Cuz, yeah, to be yeah, honest. Yeah. He's been hooping. The Clippers have been hooping. Shout out to them. All right. Shout out my yeah, this, this whole 65 game thing is going to mess with a lot of people's bread, and I think that's what that's where it's going to get nasty for the league because you know how we get when you start playing with our money. Yeah, we're not even – we're close to midway through the season and people only got four games Which, left. Which, when I saw that, I ain't going to lie, bro. I'm like, damn, bro. That's like, imagine having only four sick days. Yeah, like, exactly. Like, you you are, you are used up all your personal, all your sick days already. <laughs> well, someone, someone someone tweeted, or whatever, I don't know if it's tweeting anymore, but someone was like, damn, even Embiid only has four PTO days. Yo, <laughs> I saw that. Yo, facts, though. Like, oh, dang, boy, bro. Bad oh, boy. It's tough. Yeah, I don't Halliburton, know. 41 mil, you might lose out on, my boy. Yeah. That's sad. Hey, can you check in and sub out, bro? Like, I don't know. But see, like that's what I'm saying. There's got to be rules to that. There's guidelines to it. Because then then it would be easy. Start, tip, boop, timeout. Come out the game. 
He started the game. Yeah, I don't know. There's got to be like guidelines and rules to it. Why well, I, I mm, maybe not. Let me not speak on it because I I didn't fact check it, but I think there is a minute. There you is. Have, right? you have to play there probably minutes. is. There probably is, bro. And you can't hide, bro. You can't hide. <laughs> no. Yo, if you're Joel Embiid, you definitely can't hide. You know, yeah. which would or, or, yeah, or Halliburton with that yeah. atrocious fit you had the other day. I don't know what the, that full leather jacket you had going on. I didn't see on. it. I didn't see it. Yeah, yeah. No, my boy looked like a German freaking soldier. Hey, um, the player that I was actually talking about was Draymond. So Draymond, I think, got on his podcast. It started going off. Draymond doing Draymond things. Draymond talking about this is a stupid rule, blah, 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 this, that, and the third. And he got a lot of backlash from it. Now, he's not the only one, but obviously it's Draymond, so Draymond's going to get most of the heat. Halliburton, obviously because he's in the position that he's in, have said things. And there's a lot of other players that have said this, but this is what I'm going to say. All this was agreed upon, right, when they had the little, like, Meeting or whatever. I forgot what the meeting is called. Uh, the player, whatever. What this tells me, they didn't read the contract. Yeah, facts. They definitely didn't so read the So in this meeting that you got, I, I, wish, I wish I had the players that. Un- the, the players union. The players union meeting, right? Mm-hmm. Where you, you have all this type of discussion, right? This was in that meeting. So... Either A, no one read it or paid attention to this part, or B, y'all thought it was oh, 65 games. I can make 65 games. Facts. You know, it is and I it think is. it was that, bro. Good I guy. think they was like, 65 games? Yeah, I can make 65 games. That's light. We yeah. can do that. Where y'all messed up is there's no stipulation to this. Yeah. So regardless if you broke your leg, all right? Yes. Or sprained your ankle. Yes. 65 games is 65 games. And that's what happens, ladies and gentlemen, when you don't read the fine print. <laughs> you feel me? This commercial was brought to you by Budweiser. <laughs> all right? Like, first of all, you guys should have disagreed. If not, counter. Yo, if it's a su- substantial injury, it shouldn't count. So, for example, Embiid, your whole meniscus situation probably shouldn't be counting against the games. But guess what? Yeah. It is. Okay? That's so sad. One thing that EJ also uh, touched upon. You guys are playing a kid's game for buku bucks. I don't want to hear about 65 games this, 65 games that. Son, for real. You're getting, you're getting 65 mil just to be on the court, and I got to pay $200 to see you. Probably more. Or probably, yeah, well, if I'm going to Madison Square Garden. Yo, like for us, imagine yeah, that's, us. We in the, we that's in a the different area. story. Look at the both, area both, we're in. both arenas. Both arenas. Because the Barclays is crazy. We, we're, we're spending a good amount of money to go watch these places. And don't play. make me be thirsty and go get a beer. Oh, God. Yeah. To be like, here. Yeah. <laughs> right. Okay. Um, and my last point that I want to touch. Uh, Greg Popovich, you are <laughs> the biggest component of this. Yeah. You are the biggest component. Brett, Greg. Is out there now. Obviously, I guess it's not really his his job to do it, but this all started with that whole Spurs against Miami and the Spurs or against Orlando, and they caught Ginobili, Parker, and Duncan at the Chick Fil A in the freaking while the game is on. Okay, like I get I get people get tired. Listen, I I get the whole game management stuff. And if AD's out there playing, how many games does AD play this week? If AD has missed, oh no, forget how many games he played. He missed three games this season, and AD was one of those names yeah. that niggas was niggas is on. We was calling nice. him street clothes. Yo, facts. Okay? Yeah, nah. I'll give it to him. Super Mr. Glass. Homeboy's been playing. If AD can pull a 180, I don't want to hear it. And that's all I have. I agree. Yo, just just hoop, bruh. Just hoop. I wish I could get paid to hoop. Come on, man. Actually, another thing that this probably tells me, <clears throat> you guys just don't have it in you anymore, bro. Yeah, it's probably not the number one priority for them. You they guys don't want to play. You guys don't want to play. This is all about a check. This is all about publicity. This is all about being on TV. What you guys care? What you guys care? Right. Oh, I'm, I got to play 65. Catch me playing 65 games. This this is what that tells me. This is what This is what this tells me. I mean, if that's the case, 
Maybe the NBA is not for you, though, bro. Go, go make Love and Basketball Part 2. <laughs> we're, we're, not, we're not here to watch actors. I'm paying, we paying, excuse me. We're paying hard-earned cash to watch you guys put a ball in the basket. That's I, my own. I could go see my son do that. Yeah, bro. Like, don't, don't, don't ruin the game I love, bro. Like, don't do that. Oh, I'm going off. I'm sorry. Yo, fam, Jordan averaged 67 games per year or some stupid number. Jordan did not have the technology. He did not have – and this is not just Jordan. I think – I think uh, what's his name? Uh, Spurs center. He also averaged a stupid amount of games. Uh, um, Olajuwon averaged 63 games a year. I, re- I read a bunch of, of this stupid shit, right? They didn't have the trainers. They didn't have the money. They didn't have the, 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 the conditioning that you guys have now. And you guys can't play 65 games? Bro, you're 60. So, okay, what's 82 minus 65? That's 17. You're allowed to miss 17 games. If you really are doing load management, you can spread those 17 games. For real. For real. Unless, though. now, hold up. Like, I started my point. Unless it's a serious injury, but that's still your fault because you didn't counter the, the offer that was at hand. You guys should have countered that and said, yo, if it's a serious injury, it shouldn't count. But regardless of that, if you guys are playing the load management game, Six, seven, 17 games throughout, what, six months? Mm-hmm. Come on, no. bro. Bro, I bro. get three weeks of PTO and I stretch it out in 12. Exactly. I'm just saying. Make it make sense, hoopers. Yeah, it's... I And, and yo, when this came up, because this was like the talk of all... When this came up, I, re- I really wanted to be on the, on the player side. But y'all, y'all making it too hard for me to, yeah. to be on your side. Y'all making it way too hard for me to be on your side. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to agree with you there. And if I'm the owner of the Spurs, if I'm the owner of the Heat, and I'm looking at you guys not being able, I'd rather save my $41 million than try to give it to you and hope to God that you can play 65 games. I got a product to put on the field or on the court. That's just me. Anything else on this? Sorry. Nah. Um... All-Star Weekend, we are going to get the showdown of the century. Not not Alabama against Michigan. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I'm saying we should do All-Star Weekend here at Eli's. Um, I'm down. I got something to do that Saturday. But I think I'm planning it early so I can make the All-Star Weekend. Mm-hmm. Like, watch it. But, uh... Showdown of the century. It's not Golden State versus Cleveland for five years straight. <laughs> it's not Alabama against Michigan. It's not even the Chiefs against the 49ers. It is Sabrina Ionescu, right? Mm-hmm. Ionescu against Stefan Cody in a three-point contest. Are you guys excited for this? Yes. And and let me ask you two questions because it's yes and yes for me. And the well, the second part is more of an explanation. Are you ex- are you excited for this? And do you know what this means? I don't know what it means. What it means. No. Okay. Are you excited? Oh, a- and do you know what it means? No, I do not know what it means. All right. We are here at the BS BES podcast. We're definitely excited. But this is what this tells me. Right. Number one, obviously, because I think this is outside of the whole All Star thing. If I'm correct. I know I said All-Star Weekend. It's taking part All-Star Weekend, yeah, it but it's not is. part of the All-Star festivities. I honestly don't know. It's 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 a like thing it's between thing, right? It's a thing between Sabrina and Steph. Yeah. Right? This tells me um there're probably going to be changes in future All-Star Weekends, right? Number 2 Who's who's lighting it up in college this year in the three-point ball? Oh, Caitlin Clark. And what this tells me is if future All-Star Weekends are going to be changed. Next year, we might see Clayton uh, Clark against Sabrina. Yeah, which will be dope. So now this is opening, which is cool. This is going to open an avenue for women slash WNBA. Yeah, which is uh, is an awesome thing. Yeah, Awesome thing, right? Business side, TV ratings, money. That's what this is going to bring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to... We we might now they try to do it because I think they try to do uh the skills ta- right the skill challenge or like the half court shot I remember they they had yeah. like some WNBA players being in it but this because it's already since they announced it it's been hype yeah 
We're talking and, and 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 the trash talk is beautiful, by the way. The Sabrina, you keep keep it going. She's out there talking about I'm gonna smoke this nigga. Nah, yeah, she. The thing is, is she's she's no, she's, she's her. Don't get me wrong. She's yeah, got that. Me, that yeah, don't that. get me wrong. The ratty is there. Yeah, she's got that moxie about her. So but she, what's the setup? Okay, is so this is shot for shot. Like, this is what I don't it? like. I, well, I don't know about the shot for shot, but what I don't like is Sabrina is gonna shoot at the women's three point line. And the women's and, ball. And the women's ball. While Steph is shooting man at man. Mm. To me, I don't like that. If, if anything, put Steph... Or, or, or do it vice versa. I don't know. Or do do a, a, a two-layer competition where... Sabrina so, said she would shoot from the men's line. She, I mean, she could. Yeah. Not, I don't know if you guys watched yeah. her shoot some threes. I, I, I watched it. I, I, <laughs> you know what I'm I, saying? If you guys watched her in a three-point contest, bro... She was letting that thing sing. Yeah, because th- now I'm not saying Steph for this time is this type of guy because we all know he's not. But God forbid Sabrina lo- uh, wins. Oh, Steph had a shoot from farther. Steph had a bigger ball. This, that, and the third. Now, I also think that Steph is going to purposely lose. I'm going to let you guys know that right now. My prediction is Steph is going to purposely lose this game or this competition. Because this, again, this is going to catapult a whole thing with equality and future like okay. you know all-star festivities i that's just me call me a, a theorist or whatever but that's what i think <laughs> all right um but i'm just saying don't let don't let sabrina win i don't uh, uh don't let sabrina win that's what i'm saying like if, if it's off the rack like steph don't shoot off the rack like he definitely gonna lose. We've seen him lose in a three point contest. We've also seen him win though. No, he, yeah, he but one, you right? would think he would he would win every time. Yeah, but yo, you, you, the thing is, is you gotta it's be hard, locked in, bro. But it's bro to shoot on the opposite sides each time, and he's all about the dribble pull ups. He not doing any of that. When you see him catch and shoot. He got the ball majority nah, chill, of the time. Nah, chill, chill, chill. We, we, what we're not going to do is make it seem like he can't catch and shoot. No, I'm not. I'm not, that's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying. He's not, he not going to be in rhythm. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I, we're talking about the greatest shooter of all time. 100. Sabrina, right? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> you're right. You're and right. Sabrina. Greatest who, shooter of all time and Steph Curry. Yep. Who is? Against uh, Steph Curry. Who do you guys w- think is going to win this challenge? I think Steph's gonna win. Okay. You sticking to you sticking to old faith? No, I'm sticking to old girl. Old girl, and she a blonde. I know how you work. What are you saying? Uh, yeah. Let me stop because I I know how I am. You're with, over two today, buddy. Yeah, yeah. no, nah, but you know I I'm like Adrian Beltre. That that third no. at bat, it's no, it's I'm out sorry. of the park. <laughs> <laughs> it's out of the park, baby. Don't play with me. You're Hall of Famer. You're shout back. Good shout, with shout out. Del Mio. Shout out. Shout out to Adrian. You're. Yo, that's um, a bomb. What happened? That, that third at bat, Adrian Beltre. Come on. Guaranteed come on, come on, bomb. On. Did you guys see? Now that we're speaking about Adrian, Adrian I'm, I'm kind of off shambles right now. Did you guys see what Dontre Willis posted on a. I did. That was crazy. That was funny. And I him. haven't checked the stat, but if that is real, yeah, Adrian's going to have to say something about that. Yeah, just shout him out. So. Adrian Beltre just got inducted into the Hall of Fame. Obviously, they're going to have to do their whole speech thing whenever they get their jacket and whatever or whatnot, right? So, Dontro, I'm going to assume it was Twitter, quote tweets and goes, man, I better be mentioned in this, uh, in this, uh, well, what's the thing? In this ceremony because Homeboy went 11 and 12 against me. With, what is that? With eight doubles and three homers or some yeah, shit like that. Yeah, crazy, crazy. And I was Damn. like, if that's the stat? That's gross. First of all, Adrian, Adrian, Adrian Beltre just like retired like three years ago. If you were still playing when Dontre Willis was pitching, that's kind of crazy. Yeah. Nah, facts. That is kind of crazy. You know, you had a you had a it had to be a had long to be year, when, a yeah. long career, brother. It had to be when he was young. You know? Yeah, probably he, he probably just got in the game. I mean, I remember Bill Beltre being on like the Red Sox and shit before before he got to the to the Rangers, and and that's where you know everybody knows him as as a Ranger. But yo, if that stat is real, I probably should look it up. That if that stat is real, it's crazy. Um, real quick, I want you guys to rank. I want you guys to rank me. The best Batmans. Oh, let's go. So, like, 
any so, of them? Um, give me g- no, no, because how many are there? Five. Oh, uh, live action. So it's five, right? Yeah. I think there's five or six. Name me top three. One, two, three. Okay. Batman's. All right. So I'm gonna go. And, wait. I'm sorry. Let me make sure I'm saying this clearly. Actor, like actor that played Batman. I, I'm not talking about movie. Oh. Yeah. So so you know. Okay. It's probably gonna be everybody's number one, but Christian Bale, Batman. Yeah, he's definitely uh, v- number Val one. Val or whatever his name is, Batman. That uh, that's what I'm asking. All right, so I'm gonna go number one, definitely Christian Bale. Okay. Number two, um, I'm gonna go. Uh, what's his name, man? The, if you <laughs> a newer Batman, yeah. Uh, Ben. No. Or Robert. Robert. Okay. Two he's, Robert. I'm okay. Gonna say, I don't like Ben. Um, three, um, the guy who played, uh, Vulture in, in um, Spider-Man. Oh, I know you're talking about. That's the OG. The, guy, the OG one. <laughs> yeah. The, guy the that, old is one. Is that Val? Val Kilmer? No, not Val. Uh, damn, what's his guy? Damn, what other movie I don't know his play? name, bro. It's definitely I, not freaking George Bumass. I think no. that's the worst one, if you ask me. Clooney? Clooney's the worst Batman. Yeah. Anybody and anybody wants even, to argue? He doesn't even make my top five. Yeah, yeah. Damn. What is this guy? I don't know his name. <sighs> but I know he's talking about. Yeah, he would be my. Th- I think your list is the same as mine. Michael. Keen. Keen. Michael Keaton. Yes. Yeah. He's three. He's three for me. Okay. Um. That's you can stop yeah, at three. I'm, I'm, at I'm just three. asking you the top, top three. I think, yeah. Yeah, that's my three. Okay. Four, four will be Ben, though. Ben? Really? Right. So, yeah. I'm going to get to Ben, though. I'm going to get to Ben in a second. So, you have uh, Christian, one. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Robert, two. Yeah. yeah. Keaton, Ooh, three. And Keaton, three. Okay, before you go, why Robert, number two? Um, Because I really enjoyed the new Batman. Okay. I thought he was, like, the perfect mixture of, like, a new age... Um, Bruce Wayne, mm-hmm. and he still had that like m- that dark, mysterious undertone of being Batman. Okay. Um, and I really, I really, really, really enjoyed the way he played it. Honestly, I thought I like he was that. awesome. Okay. I just need to make sure because I know a lot of people. I, whatever. Christian it's, Bale's top one. It's our it's top not, three. It's, I, yeah. To me, it's not even in a debate. Ye- okay. You, no, bro, no, no, Ben no, is be, not on there. Before bro. I get now, nah, before I get to my list, no, nah, way, I need bro. you to tell me yours. No way, bro. I, I honestly agree with EJ. Uh, so you I like those three. You like those three. George Clooney, get the. Fuck. Yeah, yeah, no, nah, you're not even there. <laughs> you're trash, bro. I'm sorry. Yo, I hate that Batman. Yo, that's bro. the worst Batman. I hate. And honestly, those bat. I can tell you why those Batman work. Because Poison Ivy was fire. Yes. Yeah. Um, you. Actually, I'm gonna save that. Go ahead. No, 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 because there's another villain, but there's a, there's there's kind of like a sub question after this question. Okay, okay, okay. So, so I'm gonna save it. Okay. So you're agreeing with him? Yeah. Okay. So you are also going Christian one. <laughs> the thing Yo, is, I'm about to I... debunk this whole thing. Yo, Christian I... one, Robert two. You better not say Ben. Bro. Right. And three, you're also going with Michael. Yes. Yeah. Michael was kind of cool, but Michael. All right, this is, this is my issue with a lot of these Batmans, right? The movie is great. The plot is great. We all love the... Uh, most of us love Batman, the superhero, and the villains. But they do not play Bruce Wayne the way Bruce Wayne gets played. Or is supposed to be ba- being played. And, and Batman is also... I'm getting on my nerd bad right now. Batman is also like Spider-Man. There's not one Batman. Yes, there's multiple. Same way as Spider Man. There's Spider Man. There's the Amazing Spider. There's there's Miles Morales. You know, mm-hmm. a bunch of these, right? There's Batman. There's Dark Knight. There's the darkness, the darkest night. There's t- way too much to go into it. But those you gotta also you gotta understand what Batman is being played and how is they're playing this Batman, right? And that's why at number one, oh my god, Jonah. at number one I have Christian Bale. Oh, okay. Okay. Very close, number one, Christian Bale. What? And the reason is this. Best villains, by far, Dark Knight Trilogy. Oh, one. Yeah. It's not even a debate. Dark Knight yeah. Trilogy. It's not even a debate, dog. Okay? All three. All three. Uh, 
Damn, what was the the homeboy's name? Whatever his name. Raz Al Ghul. Raz Al Ghul. The Joker, Joker and Bane. And Bane. And yo, let me tell you something. You need Shout out Jay, because that's Jaren's middle name, by the way. If <laughs> you didn't know that, Bane. That's cool. Uh, that's and I fire. remember he he hates it. He hates it when you talk about it. But yo, why? Because he, I guess. He oh, just... I know why. Because you nearly adopted the doc. <laughs> Listen, yo, when he said that whole spiel. <laughs> I was like, yeah, Batman, wrap it up, my boy. This is it's over for this you. This is my thing, bro, right? I haven't even I haven't even got to my two and three, and this is getting crazy already. Yo, he said the whole thing in 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 regular regular voice. And then he goes, by the time I saw the light, it was blind. Like he got yeah. dark. And I was like, oh yeah, no, chop it up, yo. It's over. Yo, it's, it's over. Done. You're done. It's over. Then he broke home beat home. Well, spoiler if nobody watched it. Then he broke homeboy's bat a back. Yeah. And it was like, all right. You're done. You're done. Right? All right, number two. <laughs> number two, I got Ben Affleck. Wow. I got Ben Affleck as, to me, as Nefties. Yeah, yeah, me. yeah. As Nefties, second best Batman, and this is why. I'm about to walk out my own house. Hey. <laughs> I don't, I'm just not paying rent. Um, ben portrays that gritty... Um, I am rich, so fuck you, Batman. Which is the Batman that ends up becoming once Batman is old. And for those that were those that have watched the two or three is... Ben Affleck movies, Ben Affleck seems older. They they made yeah. sure they put the makeup. His he has more salt salt and uh, salt and pepper in his hair. He's he's a little bit older. He's a little bit heftier. Yeah, that is that, that Batman. He's the Justice League Batman. Pretty, pretty much. But yes. that, and I think that is why I don't like him. That okay. is why. Okay. Because honestly, I remember when I found out that Ben Affleck was play, playing Batman, I was geeked. I'm like, yo, he's about to kill it. Cause I'm thinking he's going to be young, entrepreneur, yeah, yeah. Bruce Wayne, no, getting no, no, all no. the chicks, you no, know? No. He's the, he's no. the, they want to give me the old fart. He's the broke. He's the broke bat. Not broke, but I meant like uh, spiritually. Like yeah, yeah, he's, spiritually. He's, he's done. He's not. He's not giving a fuck about anything anymore. Yeah, yeah. Like it is what it is. Um, and then another thing. Now it all depends on what's gonna happen with Robert Pattinson's Batman. By the way, number three, Robert Pattinson, and I'm gonna get to why uh, Robert Pattinson is number three for me. The other thing is now Christian Bale. The Christian Bale Dark Knight are the best because not only does he play Batman very well, obviously the villains are the best, and it's a you know it's just it's just cool. Ben Affleck's Batman are the best plot wise. No, that, so that's why I'll give you that. I will say the 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 plots in all of Ben's movies were were good. It's it's exactly how it's supposed to be when yeah, it, yeah, yeah. if you translate it from the comics. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. It's just. That's I just think, how it goes. I, and I think he he directed those movies. I, I, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Uh, well, the Batmans, yeah. Yeah, yeah the Batmans. Well, the Justin League, I don't think no, he was no, no, able no, to no, touch No, 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 not Justice League, but yeah, the yeah. Batmans, I think he was... I think it was Jack, Snyder, of... Jack Snyder. Yeah, yeah. Um, Robert Pattinson, Batman was cool. Now, he's supposed to, he's supposed to play, mm-hmm. which he did. New Batman. Everything is dark. Mm-hmm. Your parents, not they didn't just get murdered, but you're still not over your parents being you're murdered. You're still going so through you are, it. You are... Every, you're emo. He's fight. Yeah, he's you, fighting that. Like, do I the kill? Yeah, yeah. Do I kill? He's fighting those demons. Or literally. am I just hurting them? And that's why in that one scene where everybody was like, "Oh my gosh," the one scene, uh, I think that they were, again, spoiler, um, that they were at the sc- skyscraper yes. and he started wailing on my boy. Yeah. He hasn't controlled that yet, and I think. Um, plus, I just love dark movies. Anything that's dark, if niggas is dying, I'm there. <laughs> So, I know that's probably scary to say, but whatever. Um, so Robert is three for me for that yeah. reason. Yeah, and I will say the Riddler in that movie. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Okay. Ha. Right. Okay. Cool. Rank me. The villains. The villains. Um, Bane. Yeah. One. Yeah. Bane one. Oh Bane. wait 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 no no, there's a sentimental. Reason why? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. Bane one, uh, two. <sighs> Sheesh, this is hard. That's what she said. Yeah, that is what she said. Yo, I really bang with the Riddler, guys. I really do. 
I really do. Robert Pattinson Riddler. Okay. I'm gonna go two. <sighs> nah, I can't. Two. I'm gonna go Heath Ledger. <laughs> you just got to. You just got to. You got to. You got to. Three Riddler from Mr. Robert Freeze. Pattinson. Got it. Okay. The, ro- <laughs> the Rock playing Mr. Freeze. I knew. I knew someone was gonna say it. Yo, and listen. Robert listen. Pattinson Riddler. It's three. And I'm, trying I'm actually think. glad you brought this up because I just recently watched all of the the Dark Knight trilogy, like like literally. Like I, I, I so I want to get to it because I I actually do want to go back to the Ben Affleck ones because those Justice League put a little like sour yeah, taste to me. Right. So I'm like, nah, nah. I know because the way they did that I was like, Ugh. yeah. Like I just need to watch it the Batman. So you got to redo them. So upsetting. Yeah. But um, all right. While you're thinking, number one for me is Joker. Which one? Uh, Heath Ledger Joker. Oh, yeah. That's a good question because Mark Hamill's Joker, the animated version. Oh, really good. Yeah. I'm going to be honest with you. The only reason Heath Ledger beats him is because the other nigga is animated. If Mark <laughs> Hamill was live action, sorry, Heath. Heath did an amazing job, man. Yeah, but, and, but I got to put Heath because one is not animated. Nothing against animated because obviously I'm also number one at anime guy. So that, that's out of the question. But Heath, if you guys ever read or watched or whatever, he went off script. You know the whole blowing up the hospital? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That wasn't All on script. All that was off script. Wow. That, what, that whole scene was not on script. Damn. That yeah, was bro. Heath. That was him. Genius. Um, number two. Riddler. Jim Carrey Riddler. Oh, damn. And the reason is this. Your Riddler, dark. Yeah. When I tell... Fam, I thought Robert was losing. I thought it was K's for him. I thought that Riddler, I was like, yo, he's oh, going to win. Got him. Oh, no, he's got him. I'm gonna, like, yo, there's nothing he can do. He's going to win. Robert, Robert got nothing for this. He got nothing. Right? But Jim, Jim had the same... Like dominance, and he made you laugh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I forgot did. about Jim. It was he like was you're gonna lose, but check out this riddle real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I was like, damn. Wait, and Jim's Jim. Yeah. Yeah, nah. Three, I'm gonna go Bane because obviously Bane is just now the well the thing with Bane is just again is dominance. It's just dominance. And Bane, I don't know because Heath Ledger had a lot. But Bane probably has the most iconic quotes when it comes to Yo, Batman villains. That, and that to me, I'm sorry. I like I hey, if you guys don't think that that should weigh into my choice, listen. Go back. I think you should. Watch and listen listen to what he's saying. Nah, listen. No, when he put his hand on the shoulder. <laughs> Yo, he said ah. He said ah. He you said, think darkness is your ally. Oh boy! No, no, no! He was like, "Yo, you think you think this is helping you?" I always wondered what will break first. (laughs) Snake, this snake is crazy. Yeah, this snake is crazy, bro. Yeah, yeah, nah. And then, yeah, just to say all that, and then to go and break homeboy's back, like, (laughs) yo, what? The pause. Hey, (laughs) he snapped it. That still sounds pretty bad. But yo, yeah, nah, that damn good. Those are that's a good question. That was a good, great question. You know. Cause, cause you know the streets don't want to give us nothing to talk about, so you know we're just creating content for y'all losers. Cause you know you nearly adopted the dark. Huh. Trade LeBron. Oh, that's what we're getting into. Oh, All right, you know what? <laughs> let's let's <laughs> let's go to our favorite segment. Well, it's starting to become our favorite segment because we are just three triggered animals. Oh. And damn, the segment is. I don't think you're ready. No. Are you triggered? Where we tell you guys, well, technically now it's two weeks because we didn't film last week, where we tell you guys what in the sports world and the sports news recently pissed us off. Now, I have a two-piece McChicken for y'all. Damn, sounds good. So if you guys want to go first, that's fine. If not, I can, but I'm going back to back. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, Number see. one. See I'm going to go with the lesser of the two because I'm going to go crazy on the second one. Dang. Number one. 
Coach Belichick, Coach Rabel did not get a coaching job. Cool, right? Cool, whatever. People on, and you guys might not watch this, but fuck it. The people on ESPN talking about, oh, that speaks volume. Shut the f- Yo, fam, let me talk to you guys. Bill Belichick is 64 years old. All right? He had the Giants, the Jets, the Browns, and the Patriots, and the Patriots were 24 years or whatever, or 30 years. And the way the NFL is going now, I'm not going to put on Belichick's jacket as to what that's. No, bro. No. Don't don't say, oh, because of the last four seasons, this is why teams don't want to hire Bill. That has nothing to do with. Fam, look at all the coaches now. I think in the last three weeks, every coach that's been hired has been dubbed the youngest coach to, 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 to be a coach. Then the next coach. Oh, no. Now this is the youngest coach. So we need to understand that the NFL is just probably going to, in a different direction, and they don't want to go to – wait, except for one team. One team fucked up because you guys are dumb as hell. Um, they don't want to go to the 64-year-old coach that coached one team. No, like don't put, don't put that because he can't coach without Brady. I don't want to hear that. Now, Vrabel, that's a different story, but at the same time, Vrabel is very, very stoic. He's very, like, prehistoric with his coaching as well. You can kind of say he coaches similar as Bilicek, and they probably don't want that. People are seeing now the Eric Bienemies, the freaking uh, Shanahans. Andy Reid, he's just really good at adapting. So he left what he left uh, with Philly, and now he's adapting that whole high-powered offense. Mm-hmm. And that's why he's still the coach of the Kansas City Chiefs. Bill didn't do that, unfortunately for him. But, I mean... It is what it is, and it's, it was still a championship pedigree coaching style. It's just that's not what the NFL is going to. So don't put on Belichick or Vrabel, and there's a bunch of other names out there, but obviously these two are going to be the ones that are going to catch the heat. No one said anything about Pete Carroll not getting a job, but whatever. Um, not getting a coaching job because, oh, Belichick showed us that he can't coach without. Fam, the first year, first of all, the first year without Tom Brady with Mac Jones at the helm, or no, I think it was Cam. With Cam at the helm, I think we went we went ten and five. Second year, Mac Jones rookie year, we went eleven and four. I cool, so we didn't win the playoff game. Like it is what it is, but we made the playoffs. So I don't want to hear that. I really don't about the whole Brady thing. So that, that's number one. So we can finish. Second, <sighs> NBA, we need to cut cut it the fuck out. I do not want to see niggas scoring X amount of points and taking the dumbass picture with the fucking paper and how many points they're scored. Cut it. No, I don't care. First of all, we don't know if this nigga even scored 100, right? Kobe didn't do it when he scored 81. So, But now everybody scores 51, 70, 71, 73, and they're there holding this dumbass picture with the amount of points. Just cut that out. That's to me. Sorry. This is nefty. That is cheesy and corny to me, and it pisses me off. That one week that every, every, every day was someone scoring like 60, 70, 50, and every single one of them took that picture. And that. And that. I don't, I don't want to see that no more. I really don't. I, think that, I, think it's, I, I just think it's corny. I think it's stupid. Just score your fucking 70, and most of y'all lost. Cat, you already know I hate you. Fake-ass Dominican-ass nigga, even though you're Big Jersey. Cut it the fuck out. <laughs> oh, the game plan was to allow them to score 100. You still lost, bum-ass nigga. Facts. Don't want to hear that. Cut, cut the whole point shit. Maxi, Maxi scored 51 yesterday. You want to guess what he did? You guessed it. Took a picture with a stupid-ass paper, 51 on it. Stop it, bro. Stop it. It's done for that. It's done for that. It's corny. That's my two-piece McChicken. That is my two-piece McChicken, y'all. Two piece? Two piece. It's not a four piece? I can make it four. With some mac sauce? I can make it four. I got a lot. Go ahead, Eli. I, I can, yeah, I can, Go I can ahead, take, Eli. I can take this whole segment, but... I know, Eli. Eli got to get this off his chest. Not really. I just don't understand that we beat good teams and, and, and then lose to the bad teams. Like, how we beat the Celtics and then lose to the Rockets by 15? I don't, I don't know. Why does that happen, E? I, I don't know. 
You guys beat the Clippers too, right? Th- didn't that happen uh, recently? No? Am I, I bugging? Don't nah, I don't think so. I might be bugging. We didn't, like, we, we honestly, in these five-game skid, we beat the hard teams and lost to all the easy teams. I don't know. I don't know if the hard teams are taking days off when we when when they play, and we're taking days off when we play the boo boo teams. Because I'm confused. Like this. AD, the bronze out. I'm thinking, all right, well, I'm gonna put the house on the Celtics, and they at home. I'm putting the house. Twenty four hundred on the Lakers to win that game would have got you twenty three smackaroo bandos. That is. Gross. Against the Celtics? Against the Celtics. Bro, Celtics at home. I Only know. got, like, what, one or two losses at home? I know. Three. Three? Going against under 500 but, Lakers? You know, put, it, put some perspective into the game. I mean, I didn't watch the game because I had my – I had to get – I was coaching during – but I saw Austin Reeves went off, and D'Lo had, like, 16 and 15. Yeah, he also had, like, four threes. He's, he's been shooting it pretty well. After I said – after I – was wilding on him. He's been hooping. Yeah. But AR all of a sudden can freaking shoot from from forty feet out. Couldn't freaking. They was calling him Stone Cold. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yo, he was hitting some yeah, shots. He was, I'm like, he was. yo, the highlight reel was crazy. <laughs> This is Eli's trigger segment, so I'm really trying to let it rock. I know, I know, I know, I know. Just keep bumping you know, As that, you should be, as you should be. That's his boy. Yo, as if, you I, be. if I could get a jersey, bro, that would be it. Austin Reeves. Hint, hint. Hint, hint. Woo, woo. That boy. Come on. In, a, in that white and, and yellow? Okay. White, purple, with okay. the stripe. Come on, son. <laughs> When's the fourth? <laughs> Where? You still got some time? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Well, what you... And my triggers. Um, yeah, I got, I got two things I want to touch on. Mm-hmm. Two-piece McChicken! I do. Um, <clears throat> I, I, I'm... Fuck Taylor Swift. Nah, let me stop. Nah. <laughs> It's funny. She better not get married on a Super oh. Bowl, bro. I'm oh, my fight God. Oh, no. Stop. Can we not? Can no. we not do this right now? Bro, I, I'm already annoyed that I share a birthday with this girl. <laughs> I'm already annoyed at that. Like, I, yeah. I ain't trying to see the Chiefs win back-to-back Super Bowl and, and you get married. Or, yeah. pro- or proposed to. I mean, I ain't going to lie to y'all. No, 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 no. You know what? Just tell me what you're triggered about. Yeah. Wanna... <laughs> if you're about to go down this road. <laughs> about to get triggered. That would be tough. Yo. <laughs> my... Nah, bro. No. Why, why can't they be happy and they in love? They are happy, bro. Why? No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. All right. Yeah, see, are we... That's not my triggered segment, though. No, I know. <laughs> I know. It but let me, before I get to this, let me ask you this question. Are we potting? Or are we dead ass? Because <laughs> if we potting, I'm going to let it go. If we dead ass? I'm dead ass. No. All right, listen. Kelsey, Taylor, it's y'all love life. Ain't got nothing to do with us. But for the rest of the world, don't sit there and act like we don't know what the NFL f- is fucking doing. Facts. All right? And, and it really said big, like, loud things when they made the whole... Announcement about Taylor Swift making the NFL three hundred and forty-one million dollars. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're not gonna announce that for shits and giggles. Other than that, yeah, no, enjoy your love life. Yeah, I got nothing to do with me. They're not also going to announce <coughs> that she's gonna be there that game. Oh no, they already cracked yeah. everything about how she has a concert in Germany or wherever the hell, Japan, Japan, yeah, and that by the time it time. ends. Yeah, they she could catch a flight and land like the night before. You know, no, 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 no. Yeah, it's yeah. I, they. Everybody got the logistics correct. They got it measured on baby. punto. <laughs> she will on, be there. <laughs> the logistics is on punto. Taylor Swift, if you see this, it's all love on Hot ninety seven point <laughs> one. That's EJ. <laughs> Coach EJ said that. Nefty is all hate. <laughs> this, this is why I got the hater shades on, so y'all no. don't see my eyes. I'm just saying, stay in the booth. Why you come to the field? Boy? Yeah. Shake, 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 wow. shake, shake, shake it. Yo, see, I don't know. <laughs> see? No, I'm triggered. I don't know. I want my state ring. My girl came on the court, gave me a kiss. Okay. What, E? What? What's the issue? That's, that's high school sweethearts, man. So what? Like 35. <laughs> Yo, hear me out. All my... 
What are you triggered about? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. All right, what I'm triggered about. One, it's a good trigger, not a bad trigger. Uh, Yo, know, I appreciate that you flipped the switch. Yeah. Because I be coming in with the negative shit, and my boy's like, actually, no, I'm going to tell you what positively positively triggered me. Yeah, nah. So, I like that. Okay. Uh, I've, I've, I've been feeling this way for like the past two weeks now, um, but I, I haven't really said anything about it. Jalen Brunson. So, Oompa. Listen. Listen. I want to, I, I need to give you your kudos because you are doing something that a lot of NBA superstars ran from. You went to MSG, and I, I remember when, when that signing came out, and everybody was like, oh, Jalen Brunson doesn't move the needle. He doesn't do this, that for the, for the guard and the Knicks. The Knicks are still going to be the Knicks, right? The Knicks are now third in the East. I think in January, they went 14-2. and two. Jalen Brunson is averaging 27 points a game, seven assists with four and a half rebounds. The Knicks are <clears throat> top five in defensive rating, top 10 in offensive rating, which is the highest for any Tom Thibodeau team, even with Derrick Rose and the Bulls. This is the highest rated offensive team he's ever had. And they're top three defensively. And if you know Tom Thibodeau, one thing he does do is he gets his teams to play defense. Because that's what they do. Jalen Brunson is an undersized guard. And for me, I, I, I look at him and I take such pride in that because it shows that, like, yo, what I preach all the time, E., you can be the greatest athlete in the world. But to me, when it comes to putting the round orange ball in a hoop, skill will always prevail. Always. Kobe Bryant said it. I work on the fundamentals because skills is inevitable. Athleticism is fleeting. Jalen Brunson. Keep doing your thing, my boy. I know my dad is in heaven watching down, and he is smiling ear to ear. This is something that for when he was alive, this is all he would talk about. Oh, we just need a guard that, that'll want to take New York City, the real New York City, Manhattan, and buy the rings and make it their own. And Jalen Brunson is doing that. And he's doing it with his boys. If you look at the roster, majority of his team, are his college teammates. The New York Wildcats. Literally. It's the, the the New York Wildcats. It's the Villanova Knicks. And they are hooping. And it's beautiful basketball. And they even got Julius Randle in the mix hooping. That's, yo, that's a fact. Whatever you guys did to that boy. Yo, they figured it out. Figured it out. So I'm, I'm, I'm giving a huge shout out to the Knicks because the Knicks are always getting slaughtered. Welcome. Welcome back. Welcome back. Uh, uh, uh. All right. All right. That's, that's, that's my first triggered segment. My second triggered segment. And this is going to go towards um, a couple of um, Patriots fans I had a run in with um, this past week. So on Instagram, uh, somebody that I know posted... I'm not going to say no names, but you know who you are, and I know you watch the podcast. So I want you to know that I'm coming right at you right now, even though I came at you in, in our DMs when we spoke about it. Jeez. You posted Jeez. about how nobody should be able to be compared to Tom Brady and all this jazz, right? My rebuttal to you was, can you deny – the greatness of what Patrick Mahomes has done up until this point. I'm not saying – listen listen to the question that I asked. Can you deny it? I'm not saying, is he better than Tom Brady? I'm not saying, is he the GOAT? He is the GOAT. Can you deny it? No. Since he has been a starter, 
six straight AFC championships. The only person to beat him, AFC champions, championship that's not named Tom Brady, is Joe Burrow. Everybody else, shout out Joe. He beats L L L L, and it's in different types of ways. How do you want it? We can spank you, Tennessee Titans. You can have a lead on us, twenty four zero. Houston Texans, Deshaun Watson. We're gonna come back and we're gonna beat you. That was gross. Okay. Um. Buffalo Bills. Josh Allen. Sorry, bud. You didn't win the coin toss. Damn, I, I didn't even know. <laughs> I said all that shit earlier. I didn't even know this was about to happen. You about to get crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. All right, here we go. Go the crazy. Is yours, bro. Listen. Tom Brady's the best football player ever. Am I, am I a fake Patriot fan? <laughs> go away. But the numbers don't lie. And eye test, for me, does not lie, bro. What this kid has done since he's been in the league, regardless of what y'all got to say, all the weapons he's had, um, the coaching, bro, even in that AFC title game against the Patriots, he had them on their toes. If it wasn't for a D Ford um, neutral zone um, infraction. infraction, we don't know what could have happened. And a coin flip. And a coin flip. And a coin flip. And why is it that? And I and 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 I even told him at the beginning of the season on our podcast. I even said that the Chiefs were gonna have a down year. Even me, I doubted him. And look what he look look at what he's done. My boy is twenty eight years old. And you. You're getting mad, furious, calling me out my name because I have I I I have my right to my opinion to say, hey, if he wins this one, the conversation needs to be louder and respected. Because it's not y'all don't respect it. Y'all actually hate it. They hate it. If we're being real. Eli, you said it best the other day in our chat. Will this be the next MJ LeBron debate? It might be. And just like with that debate, we're not I, I don't want to knock one to, to praise the other, because we're not going to do that. But Patrick Mahomes, out of this young group, how many Super Bowl rings does Josh Allen have? How many Super Bowl rings does Joe Burrow have? How many Super Bowl rings does Lamar Jackson have? Two. Should I keep going? Tua. Um, Justin Herbert. Trevor Lawrence. Trevor Lawrence. I could keep going. But who's been there? Patrick Mahomes. So, just put some respect on the young bull's name. Let's let, like we're not gonna do this. And you're a Patriots fan. I can't wait for you to see this because you are a Patriots fan. And for years you spoke to to me and my friends and have said, "Oh, you're just hating on the Patriots and Tom Brady." What are you doing right now? Hating on that same greatness. I'm done. I must have told the future or something. I don't know. Damn. I didn't even know that was happening. Back to reality. I uh, also, I do want to say, you know what? I did I did forget to say something. Giants fans know very well how this can help. The Chiefs, to get to the Super Bowl, you can argue that when they went through the gauntlet. They beat very, very formid formidable foes. Yo, I didn't even think of While that. While the 49ers. Oh, my God. I'm about to text them. Yo, Dolphins, Bills, Baltimore. Mind you. Now, I know the Dolphins was home, but it was negative 19 degrees. What'd you guys do in Green Bay when you guys beat? Okay. Um, Frozen Tundra game, right? That, is that what that? Okay. Um, 
they go beat the Bills in Buffalo. It was three degrees, by the way. And Buffalo won six straight to get there. Then they go. <laughs> right. Say it. Say it. Say it. Where'd they go? <laughs> <laughs> Where everybody, Brandon Lauer, you told me to my face, to my face, they were going to go to Baltimore and they were, they didn't stand a chance. They didn't stand a chance. That's what you told me. They go to Baltimore. MVP candidate, you know, the number one team in the AFC. They don't score a lick in the second half and still win the game. Yo, Yo only 46 yards of offense. 49ers, I'm sorry. <laughs> you don't stand the chance. We are going to get into quick hits. <laughs> I got a quick hit. Did you see what the Giants said about have, like trying to go for the number one pick? Yeah, I did see oh, that. Oh, you guys too? So are we. Yeah, yeah no, but no. I, I, you guys don't want Caleb though, right? Y'all want the other guy. Who's the other guy? Um, Drake May. I like Drake May. Yeah. If you ask me, I, I like Drake May. Yeah. I also think there's a different route the Patriots should th- should take, but I don't work for the organization, mm-hmm. so I'm just gonna leave it at that. Yeah, because I'm not gonna be honest, bro. I, I I got a quick hit question for y'all. Go ahead. I know you guys saw that the Orioles traded for Corbin Burns I yesterday. Yes. Do the Yankees try to go and, and just sign Snell? At this point, they got to, bro. But wait. We we should just sit tight. Why? We're the only offer. Are we? No one has offered Snail except the Yankees when we gave him the six years, 150. No one has offered Snail after we offered him six years, 150. I didn't know that. What that means is nobody want to give him more than that. Now, unless after I say this, the world just turns upside down and he signs with like the Angels... Snail's probably going to be forced to sign the six years and $150 million because we are the only ones that offered him. We need it. Yeah, we need it. Lefty, we need that, boy. That's all I'm saying. We would have three lefties in our rotation, though. And I, I wanted to ask you guys, like, how do you guys feel about that, having three lefties in a rotation? Um, I'm going to be honest. They, all three are different. I, I haven't really seen Rodon, and we haven't seen him all season. But Nassie Nestor doesn't typically throw that hard. But his timing is undeniably different. What he does with his You mean holes, Nefty Nestor. Ooh. Yeah, I already know. What he does with his timing and his quick steps and stuff like that, and he throws from three quarters, is different. So... When you got a guy who's three quarters with his timing, he's always mixing it up. Rather, someone who's throwing over the top continuously with <coughs> same rhythm in a in a in a run of postseason, um, you're you're it's gonna you still need to make an adjustment rather than righty lefty. All right, I, I guess like I'm just trying to trying to think of it like how do you line it up? You would, I mean, you would. Ho- I would say Cole and then Snail, and then the hard part is then you would have three in a row. Um, right. Unless you – I'm going to be honest, bro. It would be crazy to put Snail in front of uh, Cole. But no, I would understand that, it. No way that happens, right? No. I don't – I see the logic. I don't I don't think it would happen. I, I actually don't think it's that crazy. No. Well, I'm gonna put it to you like this. How the Do- about the Dodgers if- starting Walker Bueller number one over Yamamoto? Oh yeah, one thousand. I mean, I I I think that makes sense just because he would be going against everybody's number one. So I understand why you put him number two because he goes against everybody's second best. And in certain teams, not everybody has a, a two guy that's legitimate. So I understand why they got him at two. For us. My boy's been number one since he's been since he's been with us, and he's just coming off a of freaking Cy Young. Mm-hmm. But so, so, it's now. so is now. Correct. And he's been number one everywhere he's been. Yep. Correct. But I'm just saying he's been there, mm-hmm. like he's been in New York. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what I do tell you is, 
if you were to put Cole at two and he's going at everybody's second best. Oh, so is that why you said it's really not that big of a deal, right? It, I, I'm just, you know how he had like maybe like 16 wins because of all these blown saves. He might end up with 22 wins because he's going at their their second best. Mm. He might even have a better year mm. if he goes at two statistically. But if you want to mix it up, that would be one way to do it. You go lefty righty, lefty lefty, and then go from there. I don't, I don't know if you go Cole first and then you throw three lefties right in a row. Yeah. I, I, I don't know. I just think they're going to have to experiment. They're going to have to figure that one out. Um, I do want to piggyback off Eli. I think we should just go stupid. We should just go crazy because this is my logic. How many number ones out there are really that dominant? Just a handful. Yeah. Okay. Right. So let's say let's say six. If we take away, because uh, look, Yamamoto's not pitching one. Otani doesn't have to pitch till twenty twenty five, so we don't have to deal with that. Strider is probably number one for mm-hmm. Atlanta, yes. right? Yes. Nola is number one for, for Philly, Philly, right? Um, uh, I like Glass though. He's but, the, but he's, he's not pitching the Dodgers one. now. Oh, he's not pitching one. Oh, but he's not pitching bad. number one. Uh. Is, what's his name coming back for the Texas Rangers? Jordan? No, He's still a free agent. Uh, DeGrom? No, DeGrom. Oh, I don't know. That's... What he I'm would trying be to say, one. What I'm trying to say is this. Why not not waste both of them and throw, like, Stroman one? There's only a handful of number ones out there that we should really be um, Fudge, I fearing. forgot we got Stroman. Yeah, bro. So throw Strowman one. Fuck it. And he can handle the New, the New York pressure. Here's and then flip-flop two and three between Cole and Snell. So and, and to your benefit, now Cole and Snell are facing number two, number three pitchers. Guaranteed wins at that point. And, and then now they got to turn around and face Rodon and Cortez four and five? That's my logic. Then you can have Schmidt middle relief. Yeah, that, that's... And they're going to have to now because we Snell, lost, yeah, we we lost Wander. Uh, so... Yeah. But, Schmidt's gonna have to play that, fill but that role. You have now. You could throw Schmidt in there, Luizaga. You know what I'm saying? He's been good in the second half of the season, right? So they're saying that they that you know, I don't know. You guys know who Luis Hill is? Who? Luis oh yeah, Hill? he's he's Dominican. Yo, he's he's also a starting pitcher, he, but because of how much, yeah, but because of how much like I think he, we have, he's really good. I think he needs to get brought up. No, the the first year he pitched for us, he lights out. I think he pitched nine games, went six and two. One was a no decision and got hurt. Yeah, and got hurt. He threw out his elbow. Damn. So I don't know. I I I I'm all for getting Snell, but I do agree with you guys. I I I, I do think it's gonna take some ex- experimenting with the with the rotation. I totally forgot that. about Stroman. Stroman goes in there. You can easily mix and match with that. And the and the thing and I'm saying like I'm just throwing Stroman because I feel like Stroman is really good at um, handling the New York pressure. Rodon has been a number one, right? So if we want to play the whole, listen, you're gonna have to face Cole and Snell as the number two and three. We could throw Rodon number one. Now you're gonna have to face Stroman and Cortez four and five. But that's what I'm saying. You go like let's say hypothetically, you could go Rodon one, Cole two. Snell three, Stroman four, Nestor five. Yikes. Yikes. But we're we are talking about the worst uh manager of all time. So he will go ahead and put Cole, Snell, Stroman, yeah. Cortez, Rodon. Yeah, he may, he's probably gonna go top heavy. Mark that up. That's the five. That's the starting rotation right there. And I th- Except for Snell, which I don't know why, because he did it in Tampa. All of our guys eat innings. Eat oh yeah, innings. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I like I said. I think I'm agreeing with with Eli. I'll throw a curveball. Ain't none of these niggas starting first game. Put them two and three. Now, now you're gonna have to. Cause oh man, faces in the World Series and you got Colts playing game two, Snell game three. Niggas like, what the fuck are we gonna? The the only the only yeah. team 
The only team that could probably go against that, and we still don't have to deal with it because homeboy can't pitch in 2025, is the Dodgers. <laughs> <is> the Dodgers. <laughs> yeah. And on top of that, on top of that, we don't know what Yamamoto is. Right. You, it's cool what you did in Japan. This ain't Japan. It's not Japan, brother. It's not Japan. Sorry. I, and I don't want to uh, disrespect the Japanese baseball league like that, but. Quick hits. Sorry. So let me try to end this as fast as possible. Number one, we're going to stay on the Yankees. The Yankees are looking to change their away jerseys. It's not a significant change. You know how New York is navy blue with the white outline? They're eliminating the white, the white outline. And we have the little blue like cuff. The cuffs are gone. Damn. So if you guys remember when Boston did the switch and Boston just had the gray with like just a navy blue, like that's what it's going to look like. Whatever. Yeah. It, this is a quick hit, so I'm not going to get into it. Um, I'm not sure if this changed because I know they announced the reserves. Uh, Clippers don't have an all-star. What? Again, I would have to double-check that. But as far as I know, Clippers don't have an all-star. PG, Kawhi, Harden, Rush, none? Wow. No all-stars. Dang. Um, Actually, let's go back to the Yankees. I forgot to mention this part. The Yankees are going to be playing uh, two games. Mexico? In Mexico against the Diablos. In case anybody cares, just wanted to make that a quick hit uh, for you guys. Um, if you guys want to double check that Clippers thing, because I do feel like that's kind of wrong. No, yeah, PG and Kawhi. They're reserves. They're reserves? Okay, so eliminate that. But but I guess before they named the reserves, yeah, there were no Clippers. they weren't All-Stars. <laughs> um, Vlad Guerrero, this was actually a trigger thing for me, but I'm just going to let it go, and I'm just going to give you kudos for becoming MLB The Show. Uh, I'm going to hit you up about this. Yo. I'm not, I'm not going to get into it. That really pissed me off. But, hey, de lo mio, all right? <laughs> you got it. Um, a lot of the people. Uh, Caitlin Clark, it is 103 points away from taking over the number one spot in the most points scored in women's college basketball. Number one is my Kelsey baby girl, Brown. Kelsey Plume. Um, I'm really trying to go through this, guys. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, for my racers, my, my car guys, Lewis Hamilton, 2025, is leaving Mercedes and is going to sign with Ferrari. Those that don't know how big this is, it is fucking huge. All right? His salary with Ferrari per year is $100 million. Gross. Wow. And Lewis Hamilton, probably since Jimmy Johnson... The NASCAR racer, not the coach, not the uh, Dallas coach, is probably the most dominant racer since Jimmy Johnson. Those that don't know Jimmy Johnson, he won seven NASCAR Cups, I think it was. Uh, only guy to have seven and the only guy to win five straight. Shout out to Jimmy Johnson. Uh, D -D 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 -D, I do have a few more. I think I have one more. I think I have one more. Uh, and this will be my last quick hit. Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. I got to do this again because this is annoying me. Yeah. Oh, last hit is this weekend. If you're not doing anything, you guys are, are obviously doing a lot, so I'm not expecting you guys to watch any of it, but guess who is? This is probably one of the best weeks for sports. Why? Lakers are playing the Knicks in New York. Supposedly, AD and LeBron are playing. I'm going to tell you right now, you guys are getting waxed. I'm going to be honest with you. Knicks is going to probably dust you guys. Um, that's just me. I'm putting some money on it, baby. College football rivalry. Oh, yeah. Okay. Big weekend. Shout out my Dukies. Yeah, good luck, Duke. We play North Carolina. Number seven Duke is going to play number three good North Carolina. You're absolutely hey. right. We're going to need some luck on that, but whatever. Um, Kentucky, I think Kentucky is ranked number four. They play Tennessee. Big game. I think Tennessee is ranked number nine. And there's one more rivalry game right now. I can't remember, but college basketball, it is going crazy Let's this week. Let's go. Weekend. It's that time. Um, Another All-Star weekend, NHL. Those that are my hockey fans, this is the weekend to watch. Bernard, Bedard, my eyes is on you, baby. Yeah, let's see it. My Put eyes is on show. you. Put on a show. I know it's just kind of like a fun and shits and giggles kind of thing, but it is the All-Star game, and this is your rookie season. That's just me. Go crazy. Um... I think that's all I have. Yeah, I know there's a lot. There's a lot more going. On. Oh, and also uh, Pro Bowl, but who watches that? Yeah.
That's all I have. This is the BS Podcast. If you guys enjoyed the episode, make sure you guys like the episode. Subscribe to the channel. If you aren't subscribed yet, your driver's license says booty. And we will catch you guys next time. We love y'all. Peace.